to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. Thank you for joining me. My name is Isaiah and today we're going to start out our first step into the manual transition and that's uh, adding in the clutch pedal. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first. This is the location of your uh, hole right here and I'm going to show you how I got this and um, uh, to buy the uh, clutch master to make sure it's even and straight. So here's uh, a used clutch master. This one's actually no good. I have a uh, brand new one at home. And basically what you want to do, basically what you want to do um, without this front assembly on there, you want to make sure that the hole is the right size. And once you bolt this in, oh yeah, that's definitely no good. Uh, once you bolt this in, it's straight. Not sideways, not this way, not up, not down, but straight. So we're gonna get to that in a little bit. So next, excuse the mess in here. Um, next, we're gonna want to position the pedal. So we're not gonna be removing this pedal yet. Um, actually, this is connected to the automatic transmission and we're not ready to drop in the transmission yet. So we're not gonna remove this. But um, I do have the manual pedal which, you know, obviously is a lot smaller. So you wanna position the pedal kinda close, I would say about an inch apart. And then the total um, uh, distance between the two is gonna grow as soon as you change your pedal. So, <clears throat> this is our pedal assembly right here. And, and basically, it's got the um, um, button for you to start the car, which we're not going to be using for that, but we are going to be using it in the future for something a little bit more fun. Maybe engaging two-step. You get the point. But anyway, so aiming our pedal... We're gonna want it right about there. See the distance between it is about an inch, inch and a quarter. And what we're gonna do, the back side of this, and you would take a piece of paper or cardboard or what have you, and you'll put um, this design on it and you'll line it up to the to the wall up here to make sure it fits within the square and from there on you should be good and ready to what you want to do is you want to take your cardboard cutout and put it center in the square and then you want to go ahead and start drilling your holes. And what you're going to end up with is this whole unit sliding into place. Hold on. It's a little tricky with one hand. There we go. All right, now that's just hanging in there, but the distance is the same, about an inch, inch and a quarter from the uh, brake pedal. So, once you drill your hole, don't worry about the center hole yet, because um, I went small just to get an idea of where the hole's going to be, and I'm going to go bigger, because you want the hole to be the exact same size as the hole on the clutch pedal. So, once that part is done, 
you see out here on the back side you can um, add in your bolts just to hold everything up and what you're going to want to do is you use your one inch hole saw and you pretty much put the hole saw near one of the edges and then you start cutting and then you smooth everything out with a Dremel. So you see there I went towards the upper portion. So that leaves me the bottom to trim out. And once that's trimmed out, you can definitely add in the Clutch Master. And taking the family Wago to the junkyard because my AC compressor decided to quit on me. And it's like 100, 200 degrees outside, at least it feels that way. So, let's get it. So something caught my attention out of the corner of my eye as I'm cruising down the road at your local Mazda dealership. And would you look at that? Must be race car day. Good old you pull and pay. All right. So FYI, in case you guys didn't know, the 4G93 and the four-cylinder Mitsubishi Galant have the exact same AC compressor. So, since Galants are more plentiful for some weird reason, we're gonna be looking for some of those. So, got the new compressor, and wow, prices have gone up. It used to be like 30 something dollars for a compressor, and now bumped up to almost 60 bucks. So, best believe I'm going to take, uh, take this thing home, make sure it works before my 31 days are up. Yep, stay tuned. Okay, we are back. So, um, so once this is emptied out, you can start disassembling. Oh, there we go. Um, you got a 12 millimeter bolt there, 12 here, 14 here for the tensioner, and. 14 for the pulley and let's take it out and the compressor is out but my car is too low imagine that would have ever been an issue all right well I'm gonna jack it up get the compressor out the new compressor in and let's keep it going so it is in everything is tight and I gotta say, that one is a lot cleaner than that one. So make sure you don't forget your PAG oil. The PAG oil lubricates the, what, four to six pistons, depending on what kind of compressor you have. So um, make sure you uh, put in that PAG oil to a specified uh, amount, which should be a couple ounces. And after that, we're gonna put a vacuum on the system. Okay, so you do what you could do with what you got. So, we are going to put a vacuum on the system. Okay, so, we're going to hook this up to high and low. So, it's got the little 
lever. Put it on like so, make sure it's snug. And then we're gonna open this. Alrighty. And then we're gonna open this one. And we're just using the high as a reference to make sure there's no issue with the system. And we are going to pull a vacuum on it. Alrighty. Hi, Project One. Anyway, uh, we're going to pull a vacuum on a system using this piece here, which actually works pretty good. So, let me hook this up. Alrighty. So we put a vacuum on it and we're going to be back in a couple of minutes to make sure it stays on 20. So after that we're going to throw on the refrigerant, turn on the car and finish up. Alright it's been about an hour. Yep that looks good to me. So what we're going to do next is add in our Freon. So I have this nifty little adapter so I can uh, load up a can and this one takes two cans and and bingo. So we're gonna pop this on here and what we're gonna do is we're going to start the car make sure these are out of harm's way and we're going to put the car on full blast AC alright so that's that and next we're going to Pop the cork on this. There we go. We're going to open that all the way. All right. And now we're gonna do is slowly there we go loosen this up and let it build pressure upside down, shake it a little bit, I'm going to shut this valve for a second, gauges are looking good, so when you're filling up the AC, 
you basically want both of these gauges to be aimed in the general same direction and that's what they are doing this lets me know that the AC system is in perfect working order and let's check the inside to see if it's cold Nope, lukewarm. We're not there yet. watching make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon also next episode is going to be about um, the black conquest so we're gonna knock that out we're gonna get a lot of stuff done and um, including um, ABS delete uh, what else um, and battery relocation so we're gonna get all of that stuff uh, set up and ready for you guys to view and uh, stay tuned